Hi, this is Nico from IceCreamBlogger.com. Today I will be showing you the Rival Electric Ice Cream Maker. I'm making about a half a gallon of French vanilla ice cream. The recipe can be found on my website at IceCreamBlogger.com. The first thing to do is to pour the chilled ice cream mixture into the frozen ice cream can. This ice cream maker is the cheapest you can find on Amazon.com, but it works really well. I posted a link below in the description. You can see here that the can is filled about a third of the way, uh, which I don't think I would recommend putting more in than that. Now we start to assemble the ice cream maker. Put the ice cream can in the center of the bucket. Insert the dasher in the can, make sure that it's nicely centered. And place the cover over the can. That holds the uh, dasher in place. And now install the motor over over the cover, making sure that the dasher is engaged with the motor drive. Usually it takes a little an angle to get that in place. Plug in the motor and the can will spin and the dasher will actually stay uh, stationary. Um, so while the ice cream maker is running, uh, add a layer of ice cubes evenly on the left side and the right side of the can. Sprinkle rock salt over the ice cubes, also evenly on both sides. As you can see we use this uh, boxed ice cream salt uh, from Morton's. We're going to add another layer of ice cubes on both sides again. Followed by more uh, rock salt. And we do that until uh, the bucket is almost all the way full. I will zoom in so you can get a better idea on uh, the noise level of this ice cream. It's not bad at all. After about 40 minutes, uh, the motor will start stalling, which means that the ice cream is done. So there's, everything is solid. So now that the ice cream is done, we can start disassembling the ice cream maker. So this is uh, what the finished product looks like. It's all done now, as you can see, nice creamy ice cream. Uh, I, you can either put this can right in the freezer after you remove the panel, uh, or you can transfer it over into plastic containers like I usually do. Scrape it all off not to waste any ice cream. After you transfer it into a container, pack it down a little bit, put the lid on it, and let it rest in the freezer for a couple hours. It will taste much better that way. Thank you for watching my video and visiting icecreamblogger.com.